Hey. <laughs> it's been a while. Like a long while. Um, I think the last video that I uploaded was probably about nine months ago or so. So, I've been getting some comments recently about if I'm going to be doing more videos. And the answer is yes. Um, like it's been so long that I can put my hair up in a ponytail now, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, so I figured we would just do some makeup today. Um, I will list everything that I've used in the comments of the video, um, including links of where to buy them if you're interested. So basically when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't really expect everything to kind of blow up when that includes like all my social media. Um, and then things just kind of started to go viral pretty quick, especially on TikTok. Um, and it was crazy and exciting. Um, but it was also really hard because I wasn't really prepared for anything to kind of go viral or, um, you know, to be popular or anything like that. Um, and it started to kind of get to me a little bit. Um, I was really hard on myself. Um, I couldn't really comprehend why people wanted to see me do makeup or teach them how to do makeup. Um, it was, I don't know, it was like a big mental struggle because the, um, the imposter syndrome kind of hit and mentally I had convinced myself that I wasn't good enough uh, to show people how to do makeup. I wasn't good at makeup. Um, you know, my mind had made me feel like I shouldn't be popular. I shouldn't be, um, you know, have fans, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, and it was like really hard. Um, and I kind of just faded away a little bit, you know? And from that point on, it was like a big struggle, you know? I think everyone throughout this insane pandemic, um, have either lost themselves or on the opposite side, you know, found themselves. But I totally lost myself. Everything just kind of started to go downhill. Um, you know, I was struggling. I have a stressful job. Um, I do work in the healthcare sector, kind of like the behind the scenes, if you will. I am not frontline, but um, I do staffing and payroll, and I just started to really go downhill mentally, and I couldn't figure out why, you know, I don't have um, a horrible life by any means, you know, but every day was just kind of a struggle. It was a struggle to get up. It was a struggle, you know, to go to work. Um, it was a struggle to deal with my children. It was a struggle to deal with myself. Um, and it was, it was really hard, you know. So then in November of last year, I finally made an appointment with my doctor. And, um, you know, kind of just broke down about everything that was happening in my life and um you know it was there was so much going on and it kind of just kept building because I kept trying to ignore it basically uh, I wasn't dealing with anything properly and you know he's like you're you're depressed <laughs> you know and 
I have never been told that before. But the more I think about it after speaking to him, the more I feel like after my first child, he's almost 12, um, I definitely had some, you know, really undiagnosed, definitely untreated uh, postpartum depression. And it just kind of got worse and worse. Not really fast, so I didn't really think about it. You know, but with each kid, I have three kids. It just kind of, everything just felt heavy and it was hard to, hard to function. Quite honestly, it was, it was hard to function. Um, and it was a struggle and so in November uh, of 2022, my doctor prescribed me medication. Um, I'm on Ciprolex right now. I take it every day. And for the first little while, I didn't feel much different at all. But after, I would say probably a little over a month, six weeks or so, it was almost like I had been living in this dull, cloudy, gray existence. And then the clouds parted and the sun came through. And I remember waking up one day and just being like, I'm back. Like it was the craziest feeling to just have been so down that you completely lost yourself, you know? I didn't know who I was or what I was doing or if I was doing anything right to begin with. And, you know, when the clouds parted, it was pretty amazing. I felt like me again, and I know that I had most definitely lost myself. Um for a while. I think I was kind of just digging a hole, um, not taking care of myself. So I decided that along with medication that I was going to take a break from work. Um, besides like a normal day to day stressors, you know, work is definitely was definitely one of the biggest stressors and so I decided to take a leave and I have been for the past few weeks <clears throat> just being present with my children um, you know doing things around my house that I've been wanting to do and haven't been able to because it was such a struggle mentally that I basically just kind of sat on the couch. It was just, it was hard, you know? So I have been working on my house and organizing and cleaning and, you know, spending way more time and being more present with my children. Um, and it's been such a breath of fresh air to kind of just step back um, and really focus on myself. You know, I'm sure you've heard the saying, you can't pour from an empty cup. And that is so true. It is so true because, you know, I wasn't any good to anyone in the state that I was in, you know. Um, but I'm just really happy that I have surrounded myself with probably the best tribe of family and friends in the world. Um, and <clears throat> because of that, I was able to get the help that I needed, you know, to be able to kind of focus on the good. You know, there's going to be bad times. Not every time is going to be great. And that's okay. You know, I think I just put a lot of pressure on myself 
not just at work, but with the social media stuff. And it got to a point for a while that makeup just wasn't fun for me anymore, you know? And it sucks because it sucked. Um, cause makeup is like my outlet, you know, it's, it's something that I get to do for me. Um, you know, and bring a little bit of joy to other people. I didn't want to do it for a long time. I didn't want to do it anymore. Um, but then once kind of the medication started working and I realized that I really do love makeup. I just thoroughly enjoy everything about it. I love the creative aspects of it. I love that you can do so much uh, with makeup, you know, and I like being able to show people how to use it, show people products that I love, um, you know, and it's just, I think I had to step away from everything in order to really realize what I wanted to do. Um, and I've missed you guys. I really do love makeup. I just messed up my eyeliner. <laughs> so basically this video is kind of explaining where I've been and what I've been doing and that I will be getting back to regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Oh, I just realized my compact is dirty. <laughs> Welcome to my life. And basically, I'm just gonna keep doing what I want to do. Doing things that make me happy. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is I have a playlist on here of <clears throat> kind of the stuff towards the mental health aspect um just trying to get my happy back you know what i mean um obviously i'll still be doing makeup and everything i just feel like i feel like sometimes like mental health is talked about a lot but at the same time it's not talked about enough you know what i mean and you know if i can help anyone by sharing, you know, what I've been through or how I'm working on getting my happy back, then I feel like that's a good thing, you know? So I will be doing some more kind of almost like a personal vlog type thing um you know just focusing on the day-to-day -day. um you know I got a gym membership I've been eating healthier and not necessarily <clears throat> focused on um losing weight but focused on losing weight if that makes sense at all I know it makes sense in my mind but like not stressing out about it basically um, you know, like loving myself at every weight, um, you know, and also knowing that uh, at the current weight that I am, I'm not healthy <laughs> for me. So I'm going to get into way more tutorials on the makeup side of it while I was kind of taking a social media break I have gotten so many incredible products in the mail um, that I want to showcase and show you guys that I've been using kind of behind the scenes for a while and um, yeah it's kind of my plan <laughs> you know I'm doing some basic-ish makeup today I guess nothing too crazy but um yeah I just want to thank you guys for your support um I've had quite a few people you know check in and it's really appreciated 
you know it really is also side note I'm obsessed with this lip plumper I'm looking in a mirror behind the camera so yeah so there's my face for tonight and again I will link everything in the description all the products that I used today um, so you can see those but yeah this is just a, a quick kind of update video um, and I'm gonna try and post you know a couple tutorials a week on things that I think that people would want but if you have any suggestions just let me know in the comments of anything that you want to see or you want to learn um, and I will do my best to get some tutorials for those out for you guys um, but until then thank you for watching thanks for hanging out and I'll be back as normal uh, probably this week <laughs> let's be real um, so again thank you guys I really appreciate you